If you watched my last video, then you know that my hair journey and this lock journey is far from perfect. I will have that video linked in the iCards, but basically the gist is retie day for me was a disaster. Ever since that day, I'm going to be honest, I have been really criticizing myself and my lock journey and just the way that my hair looks as of late. I know that this is probably just me having a little moment because I did have to cut out four locks. I know in that video I think I said three but I actually had to cut out four and I'm holding them right now. <laughs> but yeah ever since that video I have been a little self-critical and just kind of beating myself up about the way that I let retires get out of hand and just me not knowing certain things and just I'm just waving this around. I'm, I'm going to put it back. I'm going to put it back in this little pouch. But I have just been kind of criticizing myself, like I said. But today, I wanted to use this video as a release. I'm going to be telling y'all seven things that I cannot stand about my locks. Seven things that I don't like about my locks. So, this video, in a way, is going to be me telling y'all the things that I don't like about my hair. And I'm going to leave it at that and I'm going to move on and I'm going to just do better next time. But before we get into this video, please be sure that you are subscribed if you want to see more content from me. And don't forget to give this video a like if you like the video. Give it a dislike if you don't so that I can know what kind of content y'all like. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at tuckcare.in. I'll have everything linked down below. All of my links everywhere that you can find me linked down below. But if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe okay so the seven things that i don't like about my locks i'm not going to go in any particular order i'm just going to be sharing with y'all seven things that i don't like starting with number one the first thing that i don't like about my locks is the fact that i'm still experiencing unraveling almost three years in at that in november i will be three years locked and i'm still experiencing quite a bit of unraveling my ends are still pretty soft for the most part. I feel like just the overall progression of my locks is like really slow, slower than I have ever imagined it to be. So that is one thing that I don't really like. I have come to terms with it. I've been going back and forth over this lock journey about just being patient, just let it just go with the flow. And then also feeling like, why is my hair not locking? Is something wrong? what's going on I don't understand I felt like my hair was gonna lock a lot faster because my natural hair texture is not super loose you know normally people with really loose hair textures their hair takes a long time to lock my hair is not super loose I have like if you're going by the hair chart I have like a 4a 4b texture so type 4 hair normally you know locks up real quick at least from my research that's how it's supposed to be i don't know but it hasn't been like that for me so that's one thing that i don't like still experiencing unraveling almost three whole years into my lock journey so the second thing that i don't like about my locks is actually just genetic my hair has always been like this even before i started locks but i feel like having locks kind of highlighted the fact that my hair is like this I don't know if anybody has ever noticed, but the left side of my hair is a lot thicker than the right side. And I noticed this from installation day, from day one. I could clearly see how the right side would hang lower than the left side. It was just so thick on this side. It's always been like that. I remember being a kid and my mom would straighten my hair occasionally. I didn't really like for my hair to be straightened, but when she did, I would go to school and whenever I would come home, the right side would be straight bone straight as she left it and the left side would just be all poofy and pooped up and I didn't understand why but I feel like it's because the left side is just a lot thicker than the right side I don't know I feel like it's extremely noticeable I don't like it at all you can really notice it whenever I pull my hair all to the front so I try not to do that because it just really highlights the fact that it's like a little uneven I don't really like it that's something that really bothers me so we're gonna move on from that. Going along with the second point, the third thing that I don't like about my locks is the fact that there are more locks on the left side, obviously, because it seems like there's more hair on this side. So it just highlights the point again from point number two. It just highlights the point that 
it's just my hair is just uneven and that's just the way that it grows out of my head there's nothing that I can really do about that but it's just something that bothers me because again like the volume on this side is just astronomical and then the volume on this side is a little bit flatter so it's just kind of annoying there's definitely more locks on this side of my head than this side that comes into play with just like symmetry I'm a real big symmetry person I really like things to be symmetrical and so that is why it kind of bothers me and lately it's just been highlighted to me that this side has just more locks even with retightening it takes forever to do this side because there's just more locks on that side so that is the third thing that I don't like about my locks number four is my hair is maturing at a different rate depending on where it is so the crown of my head is maturing a lot faster than the perimeter and that is something that I don't really care for I'd rather it just be all even and I know that these things are kind of technical and that to the naked eye any random person might not be able to tell but I can tell and ever since I lost four babies I've just been really really critical about my lock journey and just the way that my locks look I don't know so Number four is the fact that it's maturing at different rates and it's really, really noticeable to me. I don't know, it's just highlighted to me now, I guess. Especially whenever I'm retightening, I can notice that the ones in the middle feel a lot more solid than the ones around the edges. And the ones around the edges marry together a lot faster, I feel like. And they marry together so well because they're so soft and they just want to tangle around each other. Whereas the ones in the middle or the crown of my head are just a lot more solid and they can... You know they're sturdy they can hold their own ground so that is something that i would change if i could so the fifth thing that i don't like about my locks is completely my fault i inflicted this on myself so basically if y'all remember whenever i first started my locks i was experiencing a lot of unraveling at the ends like a ungodly amount of unraveling like every single day i would have to just retwist my hair well i got sick of retwisting it and i started to braid the ends because braids are a lot more solid than twists I feel like whenever I would braid my ends I wouldn't have to experience any more unraveling whereas whenever I just retwisted my ends I would have to experience a little bit more unraveling so I just started braiding it because I felt like that was the best thing to do so that it can be you know one and done but the braids have not matured yet period all of the locks are at least starting to do a little something something but the braids have decided to just stay braids and it's been almost three years and so i can clearly see that distinction that is something that kind of bothers me i'm not gonna lie and i have this lint in my hair another thing that i don't like my hair has become a lint magnet lately the braids are definitely a lot slower when it comes to maturing and that's something that i don't really like i wish that it was just all symmetrical because it'll go from being twisted and looking a certain way to just a straight braid and it just looks kind of awkward to me that's the fifth thing that i don't really care for about my locks so, the sixth thing that i don't like about my locks i know that i'm probably going to get a little bit of slack for but i'm telling you right now i don't want to hear it the thing is i feel like my hair is at an awkward length i know that some people are not going to agree with me at all but hear me out the reason why i feel like my hair is at an awkward length is because it's not long but it's not short you know what i mean so it's just like this awkward in-between stage that kind of looks funny i mean i don't know it my hair is cute i mean i'm not gonna deny it. it's cute but i do feel like it is at this little awkward stage as far as my length goes so that's something that i don't really care for and again i could just be you know hypersensitive or overly sensitive because of well if you saw my last video you know why that could be the reason why that's something that i don't like but lately it's just been on highlight on front street for me that it's just at this really awkward length but i already know i'm gonna have thousands of people disagree with me hundreds of people disagreeing with me but that's just how i feel that's my story let me live let me just let me have it let me live okay just let me live with that one so the last thing that i absolutely cannot stand about my locks is the amount of time and the amount of energy that I have to work up to retighten my hair. Retides will be the destruction of me. 
of my fingers, my arms, my eyes. 30 minutes into it, I can't even see anymore. The front is fresh, the front is done, the back is absolutely not. Still working on it, work in progress. But I'm working on getting it all back on the same schedule because I don't like that I have it on this flip-flopped schedule for me. It just doesn't really make me feel good to have half of my head done, half of it not all the time. You know, it makes me feel like I'm not doing well. Let's just say that. It makes me feel like I'm not doing well at all. So that's something that I really dread and that I cannot stand about my locks. I love my hair. Ultimately, I wouldn't trade it for anybody else's lock journey or anything like that. But these are just some things that have been on my mind lately. And just some things that I don't really care for that if I could change, I definitely would. So don't get the wrong idea. I'm not about to shave my head or anything like that. But that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Again, don't forget to like this video if you liked it. Comment down below. Subscribe to my channel and send this video or share it to anybody that you think would like it or that could relate to any of these points that I made. Thank y'all so much for all the support and love. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to y'all in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and I'm out. If you're doing what everyone else is doing, you're doing it wrong. Yeah. <laughs>